Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's look is this classic pin-up girl styled look. So if you want to know how to get it, then keep watching. So jumping straight into it, looking very baby faced and fresh, I'm just taking my favourite Cetaphil moisturiser and really popping loads of this on to really hydrate the skin. And then I'm taking my primer, which is of course Nivea Men Post Shave Balm and really rubbing this into the skin till you can feel it going a little bit tacky. And now onto eyebrows, I'm just brushing them up and then taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown Dip Brow and brushing this all through my brow hair and extending the tail of the brow a lot more. As you can see, mine's missing a little bit, so we can't be having that. And then I'm just taking a little bit more product and building it right on the edge of my brows because I do prefer more of an ombre brow, so it looks a little bit more natural at the front. And then this is one of my favourite steps just to really carve out my brows and sharpen up the shape. I'm taking Studio Finish Concealer in NC15 which is a lot lighter than my skin tone so it's really just going to highlight and hide any unwanted little hairs. And then just taking a fluffy brush and buffing out all of that product onto my brow bone and the tops of my eyelids. And now the product's all through, I'm just taking a little spoolie brush and making sure the fronts of the brows are nice and fluffy. And then I'm going to go in with my brow set, which is actually just a clear mascara by collection. So brushing this all the way through, making sure the hairs are going in the right direction. And then spiking up the very fronts of my eyebrows. And then to prime my eyelids I'm using Painterly Paint Pot and just a brush, you could use your finger to apply this, it doesn't really matter. And then getting rid of any skin that I can see coming through on my lids, ready for the eyeshadow. And now it's time for shadow, so I'm taking a little bit of cork by MAC and popping this all into the outer crease of my eye, just with a Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush. And then I'm taking a little bit of Foley eyeshadow which is a bit of a darker warmer brown shade and popping this in the very outer V of the eye. And then going back in with a blending brush I'm going to soften all the edges up just to make sure it looks really blown out again. Now I'm taking Painterly Paint Pot again and popping this all on the very centre of my lid. So it's kind of like a soft cut crease but not too harsh. And the brush you want to be using to apply this is one that's a little bit more dense, one that's flat so you can get a sharp edge if you want to. But with mine I'm making it just a little bit more rounded today rather than sharp. So now all the paint pots on, I'm going back in with a little bit more Foley and popping this on the outer V of the eye again, just to darken up the outer edge. And now I'm taking Gesso by MAC, which is a really nice white matte shade, and popping this on top of the paint pot where we've done the softer cut crease, and this is just going to make it pop a little bit more. Now I'm using my day one, my baby, nylon. 
So I'm going to pop a bit of this in the inner corner of my eye, of course, just to make your eyes look a lot brighter and you know that I can't do a look without it. Oh, and now I'm cleaning up my eye, so any fall down or if you want to make it have a sharper edge, just swipe a makeup wipe and you are done. So now I'm just applying my black liquid liner, which is Natural Collection and really just trying to get a sharp wing and as you can see here I've got a few little jagged edges so I'm just smoothing it over with my brush and for this look you want it to be really extended anyway so just keep going and keep winging it out And you want to also really extend it into the inner corner of the eye just to make your eyes look as wide and as big and as beautiful as possible. And now the liner's all done, I'm going in with some lashes and these ones are in vogue number 9s. And they're just a little bit more wispy on the outer edge so again this will just make the liner stand out a little bit more. And then going over again with a bit more liner just to get rid of any glue that's peeping through because nobody wants that. And then that is with the lashes too. Moving on to skin now, I'm just using Studio Fix Fluid in C4.5. And I found that I really like this shade because it's not too orange, it's not too yellow, it's just a little bit in between. And I'm using a damp beauty blender just to buff it all onto the skin to make sure it looks nice and even. Now it's time to brighten up those under eyes so I'm just taking the NYX number one porcelain HD concealer and popping this all on my under eyes, down my nose, forehead and on the top of my cupid's bow. And I am really liking more of the lower end concealers at the moment, so the little bit more affordable ones like NYX and Maybelline because I just find that they don't crease on me like some others do. And then back in with my Beauty Blender again, I'm just flipping it over and using the more pointy side just to get more precision and get underneath my eyes. And I know I'm still blending out my concealer and everything, but I'm going to get onto the next product because it is the best product I've used for ages for contouring my nose. It is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. So if you also like to contour your nose, you need to get on ordering one of these ASAP because it will change your life. And then I'm taking my Anastasia contour palette and I'm going to use the colour cinnamon just to sketch out my cheekbones a little bit to make them stand out more and contour my forehead. And now that's all on, I'm just going to blend it in with a 188 MAC Duo Fibre brush. I just find that this brush is really good for blending out any contours and I've used it just forever. And now I'm just blending in my nose contour by using a tiny little fluffy angled eyeshadow brush. I don't actually remember which one this is, but if you use any little eyeshadow brush you'll be fine. And then going back in with my beauty blender just to soften any edges with the excess product that's left over on there. And then I'm just taking my Studio Fix powder in NC40 and a Real Techniques powder brush and I'm going to pack this in all of the areas that I don't want to look too shiny because I still want this look to be a little bit more glowy so I'm not going to go too crazy with it. And then using my powder contour kit in medium tan I'm taking the colour Macchiato and popping this on top of where I've contoured and a little bit on the forehead just to give a little bit more definition.
and now it's time for my favourite part ever. I'm taking my Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit and using the colour Snow. I think I'm pretty much using loads of these on my face, so probably white sand, maybe a bit of sun ray amber gold as well, you know, just mixing it up with my Zoeva fan brush. When in doubt, just add shit loads of highlight, so really layering it on my face, and there it is. It could still be a little bit brighter, but you know, I'm addicted. And then to finish off my eye look, I'm not taking any eyeshadow underneath my eye, I'm just literally popping mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And this is the Instacurl MAC Mascara, which I do really like now. I find it does give you a lot of volume to your lashes. And now it's time to pop on the classic red lip. So for this I'm using Feel So Grand Liquid Lipstick and Cherry Lip Liner. So I'm just applying my lip liner now and I like to start on my bottom lip because my bottom lip is slightly bigger than my top one. So I'll take it right to the edges and then I do it on my cupid's bow and then just take it over slightly and join it to the bottom of my bottom lip liner. Just so my lips look nice and full and a little bit more even. And now the lip liner's all on, I'm just going in with my Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Feel So Grand and popping a really thin layer on because that is all you need of this. And now I think I'm finished because I'm doing a few little poses for you all. So thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back soon. Mwah.